Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are hello, you doing PJ. today? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Are you ready? Yes. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome back, welcome back. Good night, teacher. Hey, good night, good night. Good evening. Hey, good evening, good evening. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, ready. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening. Welcome back, welcome back. Is everybody ready? Ready. Oh, yes, that's a, I think that's a principiante uno. Cuando estábamos dando wow. clases, cuando dábamos clases este, Presencial. presenciales, sí, me acuerdo ya. <laughs> how how time time ago, teacher? Um, I think it's like uh, maybe March. No, no, no. September, October, November last year. Ah, okay, it's rest recent, reciente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're having fun. All right, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? ¿Qué vimos? ¿Qué me puede decir? Somebody? Creo que estábamos viendo the colors. Okay. Before that, we were looking at the colors. Uh huh. That's right. What colors? The present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. That is correct. We were looking at the present continuous. Uh, for example, what are you doing? I am studying. I am studying English. Very good. What is your mom doing? My mom is sleeping. My mom is sleeping. Very good. What is your father doing? What is your father doing? My father uh, is uh, sleeping. My father is sleeping. What is your brother doing? Uh, he is watching TV. He is watching TV. Very good. He's eating. He is eating. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Uh, is cooking is cooking all right all right so in yesterday's class we looked at the present continuous right now i would like for us to review the video so that we can freshen up vamos a repasar el video para refrescar the person continue hi everyone in this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. 
subject plus the verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the sure. verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. Okay, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. I can teach you. Okay, all right. Let me have Liliana and uh, Samuel. Liliana and Samuel. I would like for Liliana. I want you to ask the questions and I want for Samuel, please respond to the questions. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm going to share the questions here. It is going to be four questions. Repeat after me, who's paying for dinner? What's happening? Which one is making that noise? Which store is closing in an hour? So you can ask those questions or you can ask other questions. Those are some examples. Go ahead. Hey, what, what is paying for dinner? Hey, who? Who is paying for dinner? Who is paying for din for dinner? Dinner. Dinner. Okay. Who respond? Okay. And who is paying for dinner? Okay, Samuel, respond. Samuel, hey, can... who is paying for dinner? I am, no, I dinner. I am paying for dinner. I am, I am... paying for dinner. Okay, I am paying for dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's happening? Uh, class. I am in English class. I am in English class. I am Very good. Okay, and which one is making that noise? My boy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and your son. <laughs> and which store is closing in an hour? Uh, Sería el de, de Walmart. Ah, yes, it's the Walmart. Okay. Very good. Now I want you to ask these questions. What are you doing? What is your mom doing? What is your father doing? What is your boy doing? What is your daughter doing? What is your teacher doing? What is your boss doing? Go ahead, ask the questions. Ask the question. Samuel, ask the questions. What are you doing? Liliana, respond to the questions. I'm, I'm, Excuse me. I am an English class. Okay. What is your mom doing? She is watching TV. Your mom? She is watching TV. 
Okay. What is your father doing? She is eating. He is eating. Sorry. Okay. What is your daughter doing? Que hace tu teacher? What is your teacher? Okay. What is your What is your teacher doing? The, it, he is escuchándome. Listening. Listening. Listen. Very good. Eh, falta una pregunta. What is your the other doing? My daughter. Uh, she is eating. Excellent, excellent. All right, Samuel, select somebody. Liliana, select somebody. Samuel, select somebody. Liliana, select somebody. Select okay. some, I am select Miriam Torres. Okay, I even see I select, I select, I select, select. Miriam Torres. I select Silvia. Excellent. All right. Silvia asked the questions and Miriam responds to the questions. Okay. Okay. What is your mom? What is your mom doing? My mother is cooking. What is your father doing? My father is uh, um, sleep, sleeping. What is your daughter doing? Daughter. My daughter is um, reading. What is your teacher doing? My teacher listening. Listen. Is listening. Is, is listening. Is listening. What is your boss doing? My boss is Playing. That is correct. Okay, now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and move forward. And I would like for us to look at the following activity instructions. Look at the pictures and input the correct answers in the blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. Follow the example. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I am wearing high heels too. Instrucciones. Mire las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Algunas oraciones deben ser negativas y otras afirmativas dependiendo de la foto. Siga el ejemplo. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I'm wearing high heels too. All right, number one, let me have one volunteer. Number one, one volunteer. Jenny. 
Go ahead. Jenny, levantó la mano. I am where he cares to. Okay, Sylvia, ¿cuál es su respuesta? I am wearing high heels too. Okay, correct. Las dos están correct. I am wearing, I am wearing high heels too. Number two, Marco. Seeing el I. Oh, yeah, sorry. Marcos, number two. It's raining, but... Okay, this is rain. But they are... It's raining, but I... But they not wearing sunglasses. Uh, no. Uh, right now, we are doing number one at the top. This one. Okay. Is but I I wearing a raincoat. Very good. But I am Wearing a raincoat. Excellent. Number two, Elsa. Number two, Miriam. Okay, Elsa. Okay, Miriam. It's very sunny, but they... They... No sé cómo. <laughs> okay, Miriam, number two. Uh, are not sunglasses. Okay, it's very sunny, but they. Alguien que les pueda ayudar? Liliana, Abigail. Are not it. It's very sun, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Are not wearing. Are not wearing sunglasses. Perfect. Number three, Cindy. But he, it's not wearing a day today. But he. Is it's not, not wearing wearing a Bill is wearing a suit today. He is not wearing a brown shirt. Uh, no, that's incorrect. Uh, somebody has number three. He. Mm, a brown shirt. He's, he's, he's wearing. wearing. He he's is wearing, wearing a brown shirt. He is wearing a brown shirt. All right, Sandy, number three. Shamara, number three. Um, sería, but he is not wearing a tie, tie today. A tie today is not wearing a tie today. Perfect. Uh, let me have Fernando number four. Michael, number four. She is where she is wearing um, 
a sweet shirt. She is wearing a sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. Yes, she, is. she is wearing a sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. Excellent. Luis Armando, number four. She is not wearing boots. She is not wearing boots. Number four, please, Areli. She is wearing knickers. Knickers, good. All right, excellent job, guys. Ahí está la, la A, está mal en, en la, yeah. <laughs> There it is, thank you. She is wearing sweatshirt gloves, okay. All right, any questions? This one, it's raining, but I am wearing a raincoat, but I am, I am not wearing a raincoat. All right, good job, guys. Perfect. Excellent work. Does anybody have any questions from this activity? Questions from this activity? Questions, questions. Questions from this activity? All right, let's listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ¿Todos escuchan? yes or no questions in ¿Todos the escuchan? Yes. 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 Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is, is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums.
Okay. Let's go ahead and practice. Is the is verb. she wearing boots? So, in this example, guys, what you're going to do is give examples asking questions. For example, are you learning English? Estás aprendiendo inglés? Is your father sleeping? Está durmiendo tu papá? Are your friends playing soccer? Están jugando fútbol tus amigos? Repeat. Are you learning English? Are you learning English? Learning English? Is your father sleeping? Is, Is your, your father, father open? Open? sleeping? Are your friends playing soccer? Are, Are your friends, friends playing, playing soccer? soccer? Vaya, aquí si yo te pregunto, are you learning English? ¿Cómo lo vas a responder? En positivo. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Y en negativo. No, the... no I know. No, I know. No, I am not. Ok. El otro. Is your father sleeping? ¿Cómo lo va a responder en positivo? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Very good. Um, el otro. Are your friends playing soccer? ¿Cómo lo va a responder en positivo? No. Yes, they yes, are. They are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh. ¿Y en negativo? No. No, no, they, they aren't. No, no, they no, aren't. They aren't. No, they aren't. Okay, okay. Ok. So, van a escribir por lo menos cinco preguntas, así, utilizando el verbo to be. Y el presente continuo. Y lo va a responder en positivo y en negativo. Van a tener cinco minutos para hacerlo en grupos. Si ya lo hizo, comparta sus ejemplos con su compañero. Ready? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, no, not. Eh, o si es ella, no, she's not. Si son ellos, no. Eh, they yes, are. they are not. No. They okay. are. No. Si es negativo, vea. Si, si es positivo, okay. they are. Y vamos a leer las preguntas que él puso o las que copiamos nosotros para el ejercicio. Sí, eso yo no lo entendí. Que sí, las preguntas que hicimos. O no hacemos también. otras, hacemos una. ¿Cuántas dijo? ¿Tres oraciones o cinco? Cinco dijo. Yo tengo las cinco mías acá. ¿Sí ya las hizo? Sí. Vaya, como que. que... Are, you... Are, are you eating pizza? Are you eating pizza? 
No le escuché bien, Cindy. Are you eating? Eating ah. pizza. Ah, le gusta la pizza. Eating. No, comiendo. Ahí sí. Es comiendo. Ahí sí. Eating. Eating. Uh -huh. I hate him, pero sí se eating. Creo yo. Ah. Are you playing video games? Como lo vamos a hacer en positivo y negativo, dijo Ajá. Ajá, de ahí podríamos este, poner. Eh, Is your mother cooking? Cooking. Podríamos hacer esa. ¿no? Uh -huh. Is your mother cooking? Cooking. Cooking the dinner. Uh -huh. Ajá. Breakfast. Por la hora, dino. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, she is en el caso positivo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y en el negativo sería no. Chisme. Chisme. Otra podría ser. Yo tengo una que dice, is she drinking coffee at this time? Está tomando ella café hasta ahora, tipo, ya es noche, algo así. Ajá, entonces podemos poner, are, are she, ¿cómo? Are she drinking coffee? Are she drinking coffee at this time? Drinking coffee. Ajá, drinking coffee, hasta ahí. At, at this time. ¿Cómo que dice esta hora? Ah, no sería right now. Está bien. No ahora. Dice, ahorita. Right now. Right ahorita. now. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Let me hear your examples. Let me hear your examples. ¿Quién tiene ya unos ejemplos? Samuel. Uh, this is cook. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Your uh, brother is not. Espérame, espérame. This is cook. Así. This is cook. This is cook. ¿Qué, qué, eh, ¿Qué quiere preguntar ahí? Estás cocinando. Ah, ok, ok. Estás cocinando sería. Are. You you cooking? cooking. Ajá. Are, Are cooking. you cooking? Are uh, you cooking? Okay. Are you cooking? Ajá. ¿Y cómo responde eso en positivo? Yes, I am. ¿Y en negativo? No, I am not. Ok, excelente, Samuel. Deme otro ejemplo. Your brother is dance. Ah, ok. Está bailando tu hermano, le quiere preguntar. Sí. Ok, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Yes. No, la respuesta no, no. sería yes, he is. No, no, no. ¿Quién me puede decir cómo se pregunta está bailando tu hermano? Is your brother in dancing now? Dancing? Very good. Is oh, no. your brother dancing? Is your brother dancing? Is your brother dancing? Okay, very good. 
Very good. Samuel, otra pregunta. Your mother is sleeping. Eh, y está preguntando si su mamá está durmiendo. Sí. Ok, ¿cómo se hace la pregunta, guys? Is your mother sleeping? Is your mother sleeping? Is correct. Ok. All right. Eh, ¿Alguien más que quiera ser voluntario? Una pregunta, teacher. Dígame, Marcos. No es necesario eh, decir, por ejemplo, eh, is your mother sleeping now? Para, eh, para expresar esa misma pregunta. Eh, si, eh, quieres, sí, si quieres eh, enfatizar eh, right now, lo puedes hacer right now. Uh -huh. Para enfatizar. Pero, pero en no eso. es indispensable para no. entender la pregunta. No, no. No. Ok. Porque como ya está en la estructura presente continuo, el verbo to be con el ing, ya se entiende que es una actividad que se está haciendo ahorita. Ok. Thank you. Pero si lo quieres enfatizar, digamos que si lo vas a enfatizar, eh, puedes poner el right now. Pero no es indispensable. Yes, Sandy. Teacher. Hi. Digamos que he is cooking at the moment. It's okay. Eh, allí, he is cooking at the moment. Es correcto, pero no es pregunta. Allí estás diciendo lo que él está haciendo. Si yo te ah. digo, ¿qué está haciendo tu hermano? What is your brother doing? Y tú me dices, like, he is uh -huh. cooking at the moment. Ah, él está cocinando en este momento. Pero si quieres preguntar, sería, is, is cooking at the moment? Your brother cooking at this moment. Ahí sí, ahí ya es pregunta. Dígame, Sandy. Um, mis preguntas son, are you eating pizza? Are you playing video games? Right. Is he wearing my t-shirt? Waiting, pardon, wear, sorry. Wear, wearing, is uh -huh. wearing my t-shirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is she drinking coffee at this time? Mm -hmm. Is is my mom cooking right now? Perfect. Are you working? Okay, excellent. Okay, perfect. Todas están bien. Okay, guys. Eh, en este momento vamos a tomar asistencia. So, please, eh, when I call your name, please say present. Eh, si usted ve que un compañero está escribiendo allí en el chat presente, por favor me avisa porque yo no estoy viendo eh, la pantalla del Zoom. No estoy viendo el chat. Estoy viendo la página de control de asistencia. So, si usted ve que el compañero escribe en el chat, en WhatsApp o en el Zoom, por favor, me lo deja saber. Please. Okay, let's go. Today's the 20th. Let's look at the first one, which is going to be Andrea Absent. Areli. Areli. Present teacher. Present. Carolina. 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 Is absent. Okay, Carolina is absent. Um, Cindy. Present. Present. Excellent. Good job, Cindy. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana. Diana. Absent. Elsa. Elsa. Present. Present. Fatima. Absent. Fernando. Present. Present. Jose. 
Present teacher. Present. Camila. Camila. Absent. Liliana. Liliana. Present. Abigail. Present. Present. Liliana Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Luis. Luis. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando. Absent. Marcos. Present. Excellent. Michael. Michael. Present. All right. Miriam. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna. Present teacher. All right. Ronald. Present teacher. Very good. Samuel. Present teacher. Excellent. Sandy. Present. All right. Sylvia. Present teacher. Good job. Veronica. Veronica. Veronica is absent. Okay. Shamara. Present teacher. All right. Yanni. Yanni. Present. All right. Thank you. Yes, Enya. Present. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and continue in the next activity. Now, for the next activity, what we're going to do is take a look at the following section, which is knowledge check. Beth, Nick, Anita, Jan, and Bruce. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Jenny. Number one, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Jenny. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Number two, Shomara. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? Yes. No, he's not. No, he's. Creo que esta es la que lleva el punto final, ¿verdad? Number three, Yesenia. Number three, Marcos. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Number four, Silvia. Uh, is John wearing blue jeans? No, he he's not. Elsa, number five. Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, she is no, not. No, no, she's no, not. No, she is not. No. Sorry. No, she's. No. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Oh, this one is the one that is, is no, he's not. No lleva coma. No lleva, uh -huh, solo, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Excellent. Any questions? Okay, congratulations, guys. We have finished section number four. Congratulations. We have finished section number four. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next section, 
which is coming from section number 5.0. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Al final de esta clase, serán capaces de hablar sobre diferentes ciudades y las zonas horarias internacionales. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre dos personas en diferentes zonas horarias. What's, what time is it? Listen, please. National time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Okay, so for this activity right here, what you're going Moscow. to do is you're going to write a sentence va a elegir cinco eh, lugares y va a decir qué hora es en ese lugar. For example, eh, right now yo le digo, what time is it in Los Angeles? ¿Qué horas son en Los Angeles? ¿Quién me puede contestar? Aquí estamos en El Salvador. Los Ángeles está acá. Está a dos horas atrás. Una, dos. Cada rayita es una hora. So, en El Salvador son las nueve, digamos. En Los Ángeles está dos rayitas atrás. Una, dos. Quiere decir que en Los Ángeles son las... The six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. So, usted va a escribir aquí abajo, it's six o'clock in Los Angeles right now. It's six o'clock. O'clock in LA right now. Va a darme por lo menos tres ejemplos. Y los vamos a escribir acá en el discussion forum. Veo que varios ya lo hicieron. Quiero ver. Looking at the map, what cities are in the same time zone? What are my languages? I don't want to start with this. What cities are in the same time zone? Okay. Okay, good job. All right, you will have five minutes. Five minutes. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? Yes. yes. Let's go. Okay, uh, I want you guys to work together. Work together. Take the chair. Is it just you here? Where's everybody else? Let me put Areli over here. And I'm going to put Cindy over here. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Areli. I'm going to put Miriam over here. Areli, can you hear me? Miriam, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so we're over here with Liliana and Mirna. It's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. In se pone AM. A.M. Yes. A.M. Para diferenciar del yeah. día y noche, ¿verdad? That's right. It's, uh, it's the club. Uh -huh. Son las seis de la tarde allá. En España sí creo que... A veces... It's five o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I want everybody to be working. Samuel, Liliana, Miriam, let's go, let's go. I want to hear everybody working. Okay, teacher. All right, all right. I want to hear you working in groups. I want to hear everybody talking. It's nine o'clock in. All right, I want to hear everybody working. Uh, Daniel, Michael, and Sandy. I want to hear everybody working. I want to hear everybody talking. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, welcome back, welcome back everybody. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? 
Is everybody finished? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, Jose. Hello, Elsa. Hello, Samuel. Hello, Miriam. Can you hear me? Hello, Sandy. It's nine o'clock in El Salvador. It's nine o'clock in El Salvador. Good. Another example, Samuel. Como se dice AM, teacher? AM. AM. Okay. It's 5 AM o'clock in Spain. Spain. Very good. Spain. Very good. Okay. Another example? Elsa. What time is in New York City? I don't know what time is. It's in New York this moment. Oh, okay. Uh, who can tell me what time it is in New York at this moment, looking at the map? El Salvador is right here. So New York is over here. Sería una hora. Eh, diez. Serían las diez. It's nine. No, it's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock in New York. All right, all right. In New York. In New York. In New York. Okay, guys, uh, time's up, time's up. It's already time to go. I hope that everybody has a good night and we see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. See you later. Bye, Bye. tomorrow. Bye-bye, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.